everyone. My name is Alexia Brewster. I'm a admissions counselor here at Penn State Abington. I'm very excited to uh, kind of talk to you about what our campus has to offer as you are all accepted students. Um, so we'll kind of go over who we are as a university, as a Penn State campus, as well as next steps that you have to take uh, in, in your journey for deciding where you're going to go for uh, your college education. So just to kind of start off, Penn State, we're one university, but we have multiple different campuses that you can attend, as you all know. Uh, Abington is the one located with the star on it. University Park's in the center of the state, about three hours away. Um, and you'll probably find that a lot of you might be bouncing around between different campuses as well. Um, Penn State is unique because we allow uh, students the opportunity to either do all four years at one campus, which could be the Abington campus for you, or you could do the two plus two program uh, where it's most popular for students to finish up their degree at University Park since that's where the majority of the 275 majors uh, are offered at. Um, but other than that, Kind of talking about Abington itself, um, I know many of you probably have one of our 21 majors that you're planning on studying here. Um, so here you can kind of see the list of the majors that we offer on our campus. Uh, if you're doing 2 plus 2, we will definitely prepare you for that transition. It's a very seamless transition for our students as well. Uh, all you have to do is fill out some paperwork after you officially declare your major second semester of sophomore year. Um, but other than that, you can kind of see what we offer here at this campus um, that you can definitely take a part of while you're here. Looking at Abington as a whole, um, so we're just under 4,000 students on our campus. Uh, our student to faculty ratio is purposely small because we want to give our students a smaller classroom environment and that's one of the reasons why you chose us. Uh, we are also the most diverse campus out of all 20 campuses and that's something we're very proud about. 40% of our students are the first in their family to go to college. That's a huge deal uh, and we're very excited to welcome them to campus. Um, we also have 31 states representing as well as 27 different countries. So our students are going to be in a classroom environment with people who think differently than them and come from different backgrounds. So hopefully it can foster really good conversation that you might not get at a different institution. Um, so this is something that we're very excited to offer our students here at Abington. So looking at how to get involved, so more of the fun stuff, not just the academic side as well. Uh, we have over 40 different clubs and organizations that range between intramural sports to leadership organizations, service space if you're interested in that, student government, um, or if we don't have what you like, you can also create your own. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity for you there to do that. And then we also are a Division III um, athletic team. So if you're interested in being uh, an athlete or playing on a sport, we have a bunch of different options for you as well. They're actually listed on the PowerPoint. If you have any questions about contacting a coach, please reach out to our office. We're more than happy to connect you with our um, athletic coaches. So how else can you enhance your education? Because there's more than just going to class at Penn State. Um, so some things that you can do is our study abroad program. Uh, we have over 300 different programs uh, with partnerships of over uh, 60 different countries in the world. And so this is something that our students are really taking advantage of because they want that experience uh, of being in a new place, a new culture. Um, so the different types, they can be embedded. So that's where you do majority of your coursework here in the U.S. And then for a week, typically over spring break, you actually go abroad with the Penn State class and faculty members. Um, so, for example, I know at Penn State Abington last year, we actually went to um, Scotland to study graphic novels. So it was a really cool opportunity for our students to do that. Um, otherwise, if you want something a little bit more ambitious, we have semester-long programs, year-long programs, summer internships, really a lot to offer you. And speaking of internships, um, here domestically in the U.S., we have a lot of opportunities as well. Our Career and Professional Development Office uh, works closely with different partners in the local community in Philadelphia and Abington um, to make sure that our students are getting that hands-on experience before they leave us so that they're very marketable when they do um, graduate from Penn State. Uh, in addition to that, we do have two honors colleges that students can be a part of. Uh, Abington Honors you'll be automatically considered for, and you probably know if you're a part of Abington Honors already because uh, it is based on when you apply. Um, the Schreier Honors College is actually a separate application process, um, so we do have a couple of students from Abington who are part of that. It's more of a campus-wide um, honors program versus Abington, which is specific to our honors students. Um, so if you have questions about either, we have contacts in both of those places that we can definitely connect you with as well. Uh, also, research is a very big deal to Penn State, and it's probably one of the reasons why you chose to come to Penn State. Um, so we have plenty of opportunities for our students as early as freshman year. Uh, to be doing research uh, um, projects with faculty members that you're passionate about or interested in. Um, the nice thing about our smaller classroom sizes is that there's a lot of opportunity for you to get to know your faculty members, to know what they're studying, what they're researching, uh, and then seeing if that aligns with your own passion so you can get in on those projects. Uh, and then a lot of our students will go on to present at conferences all across the, uh, excuse me, across the, the states. Um, so it's really an awesome opportunity for our students. 
And then we know that there are a lot of students out there that are interested in being lawyers and doctors. Um, while we don't have a law degree per se for undergraduate, the same for our medical, uh, we do have pre-law and pre-med advising. So you'll be working with faculty members who know the field very well. And they're gonna kind of walk you through that process to make sure you're prepared, uh, prepared for the LSAT, the MCAT, um, so you know what's really expected as you're applying for your further education, uh, which could be at Penn State since we both have um, a law school and a medical school or at a different institution that best fits you. So kind of talking about the value of Penn State, um, something that we like to mention is that uh, we really don't leave you once you graduate from Penn State. We actually have the world's largest alumni connection. Uh, so that's huge when you think about it, when you think of future employers, uh, different opportunities you're gonna have. It's likely that the person sitting in front of you for an interview went to Penn State. Um, so that's that's something that makes a big deal for students as far as thinking of that instant networking opportunity that they have uh, by having this degree. So and it's, it's a well-respected education that will get you to the places that you need to go for your professional career, for sure. So uh, kind of switching gears a little bit, here are our tuition and fees. Um, they officially go live every July. That's when the board kind of um, gathers to really set the exact um, tuition numbers for that. But it's really not going to go much higher or lower um, than what's currently listed, maybe a couple hundred more, maybe a couple hundred less or the same. Uh, but here you can see the university price as well, or university park price, excuse me, as well as the Abington one. Um, so you can see we have listed in-state, out-of-state, and then room and board. Um, I do want to mention that at Abington, we don't require a meal plan because our residence hall actually comes with full kitchen. So a lot of our students don't need the traditional like 21 meals, 30 meals, or anything like that that you might find yourself in need of when you're at University Park. Um, but this is kind of a good under estimate as far as what it's going to cost for you to go to college. Um, but of course, most students do not pay that full uh, sticker price, if you will. Um, there's a bunch of different opportunities for funding your college experience. We always recommend please file your FAFSA. Um, that's really important if you want to be considered for any scholarship opportunities or grants as well as government loans. Uh, we also have the PHEA for PA residents, the P-H-E-A-A. -A. Um, that's additional money that you can potentially receive that the state government is going to give you to go to college. Um, for scholarships, again, we automatically consider you when you apply. Um, so again, if you have any questions about that, you can reach out to our financial aid department. They're more than happy to work with our students to make sure they understand what their options are. So kind of shifting gears a little bit, let's talk about next steps. So we're very excited that you have been admitted to Penn State Abington. Um, so there's a couple of things you need to do next then uh, as you're choosing us as your option. So the first big one would be to review your financial aid package um, and then to kind of see, okay, this is what it's gonna cost. After that, you, you can officially um, pay your deposit. So that's kind of a way to indicate that you're very serious about Penn State. So it's non-refundable, you pay $230 um, to basically secure your spot uh, in the classroom. After that, there's an optional $100 deposit as well, and that is for housing if you're interested in living in the, our Lionsgate residence hall. If you're looking at off-campus apart, apartments or commuting, you do not have to pay this $100, um, but if you want that residence hall life experience, then we would recommend making that deposit as well. And we always do mention that typically our waitlist does start in the end of March. Um, so if you're really serious about it, kind of think about committing earlier uh, rather than later, uh, but of course, whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, after that, we actually will have students um, ask them to join our Facebook group for our incoming class. This is a secure way for you to meet your future classmates, your future friends, roommates, things like that. Um, so we'll be sending out email invites. And if you don't have a Facebook, completely understand, I get it. Uh, it's just more of a way for you can quickly create an account. And then um, from there, you can go on Instagram and Snapchat and talk to your fellow classmates if that's a more comfortable platform for you. So now that you're committed, you made the deposit, uh, we're very excited about that. What are your next steps? So the first one, we're gonna make you take a test. Uh, so it's the Alex Math Placement Test. This is basically, um, it's not a test where you can flunk out of college before you start. Um, you can't fail it, that's the nice thing about it. It's just a way for us to know where your math level is at so we know which classes to put you in so you're not in a class that's too easy or too challenging where you fail out of it. Um, so we need this information in order for your academic advisor to set up a class schedule for you with, as far as when you're looking at um, your math score level. Um, beginning April 1st is actually when you can start looking into new student orientation and signing up as well. Uh, we have two different types. We have an overnight option and a non-overnight option because it is a two-day program. Um, the overnight option includes uh, the opportunity for students to stay at the residence hall Lionsgate. Uh, we have a bunch of activities going on, snacks, food for students. Uh, parents, please know 
We love that you're excited about it, but you can't stay at the residence hall with your student. Uh, there are plenty of wonderful hotels in the area that will hook you up with so you can be comfortable as your student is uh, going through the orientation process. Um, otherwise, if you're not interested in that, we do have non-overnight options as well for students uh, where you would just come during the day to uh, take care of your orientation stuff. Uh, if you have any questions about orientation, that's actually handled through our um, orientation team and not necessarily admissions. We're always happy to help, um, but we kind of defer the defer you towards orientation. So please contact SEAL at psu.edu or you can call 215-881-7507 uh, with further questions about what the orientation process is. So kind of talking about connecting with us in general, uh, we are on social media if that is your preferred way of communicating. We have Instagram and Snapchat and we'll answer any questions you have. Uh, if you're excited and you're posting pictures about like, hey, I'm a 2024 graduate or going to be graduate, um, you can send that to us on Instagram. We're happy to post you on our social media as well. Uh, other than that, if you need to get in touch with our admissions team, um, the contact information is there as well as our financial aid team looking at our phone number and our email. Um, so again, very excited um, that you're considering Penn State as your future uh, for your education.